Hey YouTube, Pop here. Um, I stumbled across this a while back and finally got my hands on one. This is a uh, kind of a review explanation of the difference between uh, the Lyman ammo checker and a uh, case gauge. They're both case gauges. What everybody refers to as a case gauge. What it really is, most of them out there are headspace gauges. Um, here's a Lyman headspace gauge for 223. And this is my uh, Wilson for my 300 blackout. Um, the These two only do two things. They check the headspace and they allow you to check for overall length of the brass okay and tell you whether you need to trim it or not that's all these two do they don't do anything else okay this is the new Lyman ammo checker and what is different is not only will this one tell you the headspace but it will also tell you if the rest of the piece of ammunition from the um, bullet neck down is has been resized enough to actually fit in your chamber these openings are cut to minimum SAMI specs for the chambers these are they use the same cutters that the um, different barrel manufacturers use when they're cutting the chamber in the rifle barrel. So this not only checks your headspace, but it also checks to make sure that when you're converting 300 blackout brass, um, some brass is a little bit thicker when you chop it and you reform it and the material up here in the neck is too thick. And in some chambered rifle and some tight chambered rifles, you cannot get this thing to chamber because the 308 bullet pushes it out too far and you can't get the the it pushes the brass back out causing a bulge because the brass is so thick you can't get it to chamber but now with this you can check to make sure that your reloads are going to chamber if it fits in this it will chamber now there's going to be some people, and I'm one of them, on my 300 blackout, the chamber is not overly tight. Okay? Like, let me drop this one in here. See how it sticks up? It's not sized right all the way down. It's not sized to the minimum spec. I'm going to get it out of here. But this round will chamber in my rifle okay and then here's one I guarantee you that one will chamber all right and the same thing with the 223 I don't have any reload 223s but this is a fired case and I know it won't fit but there that won't chamber but this one, smooth as a button. You've got your minimum and maximum space up here for your head spacing. What's nice, uh, this is the uh, small rifle. It has a 762 by 39 300 blackout, 22 250, 223 Remington, 22 Hornet, and the 204 Ruger. Oops, sorry about that. And they make, uh, this is the small rifle. The large rifle will check a 243, 270 Winchester, 3030 Winchester, 308 Winchester, 30-06, and 300 uh, Winchester Short Mag, WSM. Um, but it's called the Lyman Ammo Checker. And if you're shooting in a semi-automatic rifle, you really want to use those. Um, but let me, oh yeah, let me show you this. This is my um, 
Wilson cage, case gauge. Okay. And this is the round that did not fit all the way down there. But if you check here, look. It passes the headspace. The headspace is right. And when you put it down on a flat surface, the, the case is cut to length. But it still won't fit in here. And this one, the one that did fit, same thing. But it will fit. And I know that will chamber. Okay? So, these case gauges that you went out and spent 20 bucks a piece on, they're good. Don't take me wrong. When you're when you're setting up your uh, your dies, your resizing dies, they're great, but they're not going to solve some of the problems and catch some of the problems that this one will. This one for all six calibers, um, I think, was like thirty-five dollars. I think um, the large rifle, maybe a dollar or two more, in the um, pistol. They also make one for pistol. And the pistol one, I forgot to tell you what that one does. It does a 380 auto, 9mm Luger, 38 Super, 40 Smith & Wesson, 45 ACP, 38, 357, 44 Mag, and 44 Special, and 45 Colt. Um, I generally don't have a problem because all my pistol rounds are all straight wall and I don't have a problem with them not feeding and, and chambering in my pistol so but these neck down rifle cartridges that's a whole different ballgame okay um, there's another one uh, something similar Sheridan engineering but those guys want like 50 bucks a piece and they also do one that has a a cutout so you can visually check and see where it's hitting in the in the cut to uh, figure out what your problem is. Um, Hornady announced that they've got something similar to this coming out that's also cut with a chamber cutter. So the manufacturers are, are finally seeing the light. I think Sheridan was the first one that I was aware of. But they're really proud of their their uh, case gauge. So anyway, long enough, I've been rambling. Um, if you're interested, check them out. It's a Lyman uh, ammo checker. I give it two thumbs up any questions or comments post them down below uh, if you like the video and want to see more give me a thumbs up it always helps the channel a little bit and remember exercise your second amendment rights and share it with some friends and the fight is still going ongoing okay keep smiling makes people wonder what you've been up to take care of you too bye